All right, we're live, man. I'm live with Ryan Reilly from uh, Columbus, Ohio. One of my one of my one of my brothers from from Ohio, man. I'm so excited to have you on. Um, I just love this because I have an opportunity to talk to people and connect with people like you on on a weekly basis. Brother, welcome to the show, man. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Mike. I, I really appreciate it. Um, excited that you got a hold of me um, here from the OH. So uh, I think when you did your opening there, we got to uh, come down and help celebrate that. So I'm, I'm excited to be here, man. Yeah. And dude, we got to connect more, man, because like obviously we're, we're a family, man. And, and certainly uh, we're, we're, we're part of something that, that you and I both know is, 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 is already great, but it's, it's going to get even bigger and better. And, and so I, I definitely want to stay connected to, to people like you and, 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 and obviously Andrew Gadosh and, and Albie and Jay and all those guys, man, I, I just, it, 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 it is, it is just such a fun thing to be a part of, but listen, man, I don't want to, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. And I, I, I told you like the, the show really isn't about like your production and what you do for lead generation and all that stamp or all that stuff. But I, I do that just really to kind of set the stage for our audience so that they can kind of get a feel for, you know, where you're at in your business. So how long have you been in real estate, brother? So uh, this is year 15. So out of OSU, um, started, you know, right into it. So we're, we're hitting next year will be uh, number 16 in the book. So yeah, 15 years now. And you, so you started when you were uh, when you were 16? <laughs> I wish <laughs> I was young, man. Uh, you know, a little, a little, uh, a little tremor too, but, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a little difficult then. I looked young and a lot of people wonder if I knew what the heck I was doing. So I just had to grind a little harder and, and, uh, learn a little quicker. Well, you must stay in pretty good shape, man. Cause you, you have a boxing gym. So I, I can imagine that that keeps you pretty <laughs> good shape. Uh, yeah. I mean, when I get there, um, you know, a lot of it is, uh, uh, running the business side of it. So yeah, getting in there and, and hitting the bags is is something that I, I try to get that stress out. So definitely. Yeah. And real estate will do that to you, won't it? Yes. hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Very true. So, okay. So you're, you're, you're going into year 16, man. And, and uh, you know, you, you're, you're not slowing down. You guys are, I, we were just talking a little bit before that you'll probably end up the year somewhere around 220, 230 transactions. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. This will be our best year. Um, like I said, I mean, kind of, you know, what we're diving into today, you know, this move is, is allowed me to, um, you know, really attract and, and the agents we've been able to really, you know, our move was in January. So the agents we've been able to bring on and, um, you know, we, we opened kind of our own team office here in Westerville of, of, uh, uh, of Columbus and, you know, we've just been growing. So we're at 18 agents. Yeah. We'll hit 200 and some 220, 230 transactions. And so for you, like we, we are connected through um, through through Al and Jay and those guys, and you're an NAE guy. Uh, yep. and, and I'm curious though, like for you, so you're you're getting ready to go into to year 16, and you're you're at 220 transactions. When did it really start to click for you, man? Like when did you like when did your business really start to take off? Because it's I mean it's you and I both know. I mean Columbus is a hyper competitive market. I mean to, yeah. if you're 100 transactions in Columbus like you're doing something really special. So when did it really start to, uh, when did you start to connect the pieces and when did your business take off? <laughs> Good question. Um, you know, you know really, really probably, probably, you know, seven, 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 seven years, years in, um, is really when I, things started changing. Um, I, I would say probably the biggest thing was, you know, Mr. Jay, we all know Jay Kinder, right? Yeah. Um, I, I got into, um, I was doing some coaching somewhere else. I met Jay, Jay hit me up. Um, and said, Hey, you know, we're starting, you know, at that time, Kinder Reese and, um, you know, those guys, you know, Jay put me under his wing and, and taught me really from A to Z. So, you know, I think I stole it from Jay, but I always said I wasn't the smartest kid, you know, in a room, but I'd sit next to him. I'm very yeah. good at copying. Uh, I'm the king of copying. So, you know, I said, you know, let me find out what, what this kid's doing and let me figure it out. You know, me and Jay were very similar interests, similar in age, and I'm seeing this kid kill it. So, you know, really Jay, you know, he helped me um, you know, move from, you know, having kind of a job to a business, you know, putting in, you know, true process systems, procedures, you know, kind of a, a true, you know, business model, if you will, instead of what I was doing before. That's awesome, man. And so how did you, let, let, let's rewind uh, back, you know, the 16 years, how did you actually end up getting into real estate? Like what, what, what did that look like? <laughs> um, so at OSU, um, you know, I'm from a, a small little town here in Ohio, I went to OSU um, 
realized very quickly, um, you know, I'm the, if you look up ADD, my picture is probably right next to it. So I realized very quickly me sitting at a desk or doing that kind of job just wasn't going to work. Um, so I started just studying and figuring out, you know, what a, what a high income producer is doing, you know? Yeah. And, you know, if you go through and look at, you know, fortune, or if you look at, you know, all these different things, you know, either people are in the real estate game or they have it in their portfolio. So I actually started out just investing. I started out with, um, really, I got licensed originally so that I could find my own properties, buy them, flip them. I was doing all that kind of stuff. I started making a little bit of money. Some investors started coming to me and saying, hey, what are you doing? I seen you're making a little bit of money. So I started out just kind of niched in uh, investor deals. So you got in the industry to essentially save the 3% commission on your investment deals. And then you end up building this massive real estate team selling 220, 230 homes a year. That, that's like, that's crazy because for me, it was the complete opposite. Like I got in with the intent on building a huge real estate team. And now wow. the investing is a byproduct of that. So that, so I, I'm curious, like, I got to ask this, how do you go from, okay, Hey, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to wholesale, I'm going to flip some houses, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to do some, I'm going to do that investment piece to, you know what, I think I can make some pretty good money if I, if I, if I sell real estate, if I build a team, how, how does that happen? It, it took me a while to figure that out. Um, like I said, I mean, really the, the original license was I wanted access to um, the properties, right? You know, I, I, when I first started investing, I was using a buddy of mine and I don't know if he really knew what he was doing. So I said, Hey, I'll take that over. Let me get licensed and I'll figure all that out and obviously get paid a commission too. So as I started diving in and meeting people in the real estate world and seeing what was going on, then I started realizing, wow, you can, you can make some good money doing this. So then I really just, just started diving in and figuring out, okay. Um, you know, I think my first year that I really killed it on my own, I sold 50 or so homes on my own. And obviously there's only one me, there's so much, you know, only so much time in a day. So I said, well, how do we, how do we leverage this? How do we figure out how to do it? And that's where, you know, when I met Jay and, and Mike and those guys, they really helped me figure out how to, how to model that, you know, kind of where my team's at now. Um, and obviously with the XP, you know, a whole, a whole new model has come along, but that's kind of how they helped me model the way my team was and the way that we're set up today. Okay. And, and you came over from uh, really what, r really what is it like a local, like a big local company, like most people would recognize here in, in Ohio because they do a lot of volume. Right. Uh, and so for you, like what, what was, is that where you spent the majority of your, your real estate career? No, I mean, I've uh, unfortunately done what, what a lot of agents uh, have done. I bounced around. Um, I've been at Remax. I've been at Keller Williams. Um, and then, you know, just recently from a smaller, um, just kind of regional brokerage here um, that does, uh, you know, a decent amount of business, but, but kind of locally. So, yeah, I've, I've, you know, I said when I made this move, you know, this was, um, you know, this is the last place I'm hanging my hat. So, um, you know, it's a problem with our business, right? A lot of agents are chasing these uh, usually splits um, because there's not a lot of value out there in most brokerages. You know, it's the problem we have to find and bring. And that's what I was always trying to do is figure that out, right? How do I bring the value for my agents and really start changing kind of that, that mindset and that business model of what, you know, what is a real estate brokerage supposed to offer? What do they offer? Right. And, and, and you know, what comes to mind for me, because um, you and I have, have kind of run similar paths. Uh, we moved to EXP. You moved in January. I moved in February. Um, our teams are, are of a similar size and similar structure and we do similar volume. Um, so for you, like you saw probably what I saw um, in that you see like, you see all these really smart, uh, influential guys uh, starting to make the move over to EXP. Guys that you and I really respect uh, because we've watched these guys over a year, over the years go out and build these huge real estate teams. Um, uh, but more importantly, they've really dialed in what we now call or what we know is a real estate business, right? They've taken Gary Keller's book and, and even dissected that even more. And that was the brilliance really of what Jay and Mike did um, but by doing that, um, they attracted guys like me and you and, and, uh, and Gaydosh and Albie and all those guys. So I'm, I'm curious, like you start to see this happen and I'm sure either probably Jay or, or one of the, or maybe even Al reached out to you and they're like, Hey dude, you got to take a look at this. And so tell me that story. I've not heard your story. So I want to hear okay. that. Story. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, you hit the head, you know, the nail on the, on the head there. So, um, you know, the, the group, you know, that we run in, you know, same as you and, and a lot of these people, you know, these are, 
these are heavy hitters. You know, the people that I respect a lot, they've done, you know, so much, um, you know, for my business, for my life, you know, I consider them, you know, some of my best friends today. Um, so when, I don't know that I was necessarily looking, you know, maybe I was and, and just not consciously, you know, there was always, you know, that thought of, you know, me opening my own, you know, it was always kind of the end play trying to figure that out. You know, am I going to open, you know, at what point am I going to open my own brokerage or, cause there was a lot of things I wanted to do that, you know, just, I didn't see a brokerage doing it, you know, that was in the marketplace. So yeah, Al, um, you know, if you know, Al, you know, he's, he is a honey badger, right? He, uh, you know, uh, hey, you got to check this out. Yeah, of course, me. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Right. You know, I, I might watch this video. I'm not, you know, I'd spoke to Brent Gove, you know, um, Coach Cliff. You know, there was there was a lot of people that were in that group, you know, that I was coaching with that I respected very highly. Um, and I said, hey, I got to sit down, um, you know, and, and really take a look at this. And then, you know, I think I had a conversation with Jay and uh, I knew that he was making the move and and uh, when I seen some of these players and some of these guys and teams that were making this switch, you know, it's something you can't ignore. Right. So I, it definitely was something that I had to look at. And then again, you know, I was kind of like, hey, let's let's try to poke holes in it. And uh, I couldn't. Yeah. And, you know, so like, are you one of those guys where it's like, um, you know, it takes me like it takes me like a year to make a decision or are you one of those guys where like it takes me like a month to make a decision or are you somewhere in between? I mean, it took me a while. It, it probably took me six months um, to be, Hey, you know, this is, you know, this is where I want to be. This is what we're going to do. Not only that, but um, I see this as being something that we can be a part of. That's really going to change the landscape. Um, but in the beginning, I mean, it, you know, for me, you know, I don't like just, you know, moving from spot to spot to spot. And I have a, you know, a fairly large team. So just the, you know, to be able to move, you know, and do all of those things when you have everything that we had, you know, pending escrow and all these types of things um, isn't something that you do lightly. And I had to look out for, you know, for my team, their families too, to make sure that I'm doing something for the right reasons. Right. right. So, you know, once I felt comfortable with all of those things and vetted that out, um, you know, I actually went to Florida and, and, you know, met with Glenn and Gene and, you know, a lot of these guys. And I was just blown away by the leadership group and, and kind of who was running the ship, right? Like, you know, if, if you're going to be on the boat, you want to know who's steering it. And I was impressed, you know, from top to bottom. So that's when we said, Hey, we're, we're two feet in and let's, you know, let's go. That's awesome, man. So, so from the first time you ever heard about it, um, if it took you six months, uh -huh. What is it, it, so the process in between from what I'm hearing to you is like you're 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 doing your due diligence. It, you're not hot and heavy on it, but it's it's piqued your interest enough that, you know, I, you, you're going to fly down to Florida. You're going to you're going to actually talk to the leadership group. Um, you're going to ask these different peers in the industry that you respect um, all the questions in order to get the answers you need to feel comfortable to make the move. Yep, that's 100 percent what happened. Yeah, it's about six months of. Um, you know, just doing research, you know, talking to, like I said, Al, Brent, Cliff, um, Jay, um, a lot of these guys. And then when I went down to Florida and, and, um, you know, they had their event down there. And when I went through that, I was blown away by, by everything. You know, I talked to, um, like I said, Gene and Glenn and, um, you know, uh, Wilhelm was down, just a lot of just great people. So, um, you know, Brent, you know, if you've met Brent, he's a, he's a phenomenal guy. So, um, I felt, you know, leaving that event, I felt just phenomenal about not only the move we were making, but the landscape over just years to come. I mean, it, when you've done this, you know, like I said, going on almost 16 years, I mean, to be honest, there was a point where, you know, you get a little burnout. I can say this is the most excited I've been about real estate again um, because of what this company allows us to do, right? To be in business with people like you, you know, to finally be in business with Al, with, um, you know, with Andrew Gadosh, with, you know, all of these guys where, you know, we go to these events, right. And we do all these great things. And then we go back home and we don't talk again because, you know, Andrew's back at home and gardens, Al's at, you know, doing his thing up there. I'm Columbus doing my thing. And there was never a way for us to figure out how can we, you know, put all of our fires together and build one big fire until this. Yeah, that's money, dude. Um, so, okay. So, so this six months goes by, uh, you do your due diligence, you finally made up your mind, hey, we're, this is it, we're making the move. Um, how did you approach your team with the news? 
Um, good question. So, you know, I got, again, a lot of advice from, um, from, you know, Al, Cliff, uh, Brent, you know, the, like I said, the, the thing that's great about EXP is just the support, especially from, um, you know, other agents, you know, just something that I never had before at any other company. Right. So, um, I, I sat down with some of my veterans and my, you know, some of my, you know, kind of my, my OGs, if you will, on the real estate team. Yep. Um, I sat with them first, let them know, Hey, here's what we're doing. Here's why we're doing it. Um, and then I met with them and then I met with, you know, some of my newer agents, um, kind of in a, in a second, um, kind of step in the process. And then we brought everyone together and, you know, kind of did a kickoff and grand opening celebration type thing. So we did it in two steps. I wanted to make sure that the, you know, some of my agents been with me six, seven years. So I wanted them to really understand why we were making the move and, and really all the details and everything, really the value and everything that I saw and why I was excited, you know, not just to move to, you know, another physical location or another sign or, you know, change in colors, but an actual move to another business model right, in real estate that I think could change a lot of our lives. So, you know, that that was really the, I guess, the message that I wanted to get to my experienced agents, you know, kind of my key group. And then, you know, we brought everyone else in and it's been phenomenal. Okay, so you're transitioned in February. And so just to back up just a little bit, how was, what did your team, what was the size of your team? Um, and, and, and go through some of the different roles that you had at that time uh, when you moved over in January. Yeah, I think we were at 11 um, in January. Uh, we're at 18 currently. Um, yeah, I mean, we have, um, you know, phenomenal admin. Um, John Harp, Ashley Klingel is my admin. John Harp is is kind of my lead buyer's agent. He runs uh, most of the team operations, stuff like that, training. Um, and then from there, you know, we just have built a lot on just systems and tools and technology. Um, a lot of just, you know, I've always wanted to model just a mini franchise, right? Like if you you know, if you came to Columbus and wanted to step right into my business, you know, it's kind of plug and play with what we have. Um, so that's kind of what we've built here. So a lot of, that was a nice thing is I built something to where moving from, you know, the other place over TXP wasn't, um, you know, we owned most of what we're using and most of our tools and we had, you know, our own admin, our own, you know, just um, we found, you know, some office space because we, we do um, still utilize that for the way that our team is set up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's got the agents excited, you know, before if, if, you know, somebody on the team co opt with a great agent or something like that, I'd be like, yeah, that's great. Now, you know, it's an opportunity to have those conversations and say, Hey, you know, what does your business look like, Mike? You know, what, what can I do to possibly help you or partner up with you, you know, with this great company and really, you know, help build your business, which is stuff that I'm able to do now that I wasn't able to do before. So, a couple of things I want people to hear there uh, that are really, really important nuggets um, or pearls of wisdom, uh, as they say, are the fact that so you have a very large real estate team and the way you approached your team is not unlike what I've heard from Kyle Whistle or Dan Beer, um, who have also been on the show in that they what they did first was they approached their leadership group, their most tenured individual, and they got buy-in from them because they knew if they got buy-in buy -in from those folks that the message would naturally trickle down, right? Because yep. those, those are your most respected leaders in your business. And, and when you get buy-in from them, the other people that are under them, they just naturally follow. Is that kind of what you saw? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted... Um like I said, I wanted to do it in two tiers because, um, like you said, that that group was my leadership group. Um, it, it was um, for me, it was just extremely important for them to understand, um, you know, EXP, you know, the company, because, you know, it's still especially in Columbus. I don't think we were the first, but we were you know, the team of our size um, to make the move and do. So I knew that we were going to, um, you know, start some chatter and people are going to be talking a little bit. So I wanted to be very clear that my team knew why we were making that move. Um, and I really wanted them bought in to, to the opportunities because it wasn't just for me, right? It was, you know, again, some of the, you know, with the old models, it was if we recruit somebody to the team, yeah, that that kind of helps out the top, helps out Ryan, some of these things. And I can add tools and all of that based on the revenue. But, you know, with this model, you know, it, it totally changes the whole landscape of even what I'm able to offer my agents. Okay. And, and, and another thing I heard you say is that when you started, you were at 11 and now mm -hmm. you're at 18. Is that right? Mm -hmm. 
Correct. Yep. So how did, I, I'm curious, how did that happen? What happened in order for you to, you know, in, in I guess we, so you've been here January, we're, we're not even a year in and you've got what, seven additional people that are bought in? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the, we've always, so our, my team has always grown. I mean, I do recruit, but a lot of it's grown just, you know, like I said, I've been around a while. We do a lot of production. So a lot of it's word of mouth. Um, and we are very picky, you know, we're a culture based team. We're very picky on who, you know, we bring in, um, and, and who we, you know, we're, we're a, a big family, you know, to kind of put it in the best way. So, um, you know, when you really enjoy and like the people that you're hanging out with, working with, it just makes things better. So, um, you know, I've concentrated a little bit more on the recruiting. Um, but when I really bring in what what we offer as far as my team and stuff, and now what I'm able to bring to the table with the EXP, um, you know, sign out front and, and you know, that kind of behind us, it, it's kind of a no brainer, you know. So um, we're getting a lot of referral, you know, a lot of people saying, hey, you know, I'm not happy here. This isn't being provided for me. Um, and a lot of people say, go talk to Ryan, go look at Ryan's team. And also you got to check out this EXP thing. So that's kind of, you know, been the biggest thing. Obviously our move, you know, I think um, had people talking here in Columbus. So that got people asking questions, which was good. Yeah. So you talked about, and I talk about this on almost every show and I was, I was not surprised to hear you say it, but, um, and you've been doing this a little bit longer than I have, but you, you talked about like, there's this idea that, you know, that you go through the the lifespan of a real estate agent and and ev the evolution of then becoming a business owner. But you talked to, you said one word that kind of stuck out to me, and you you talked about like burnout, right? And so mm -hmm. there's this idea that you just do this and it's sustainable, and it really isn't, right? That the whole reason why team leaders build a team is because to do business the same way that they always have done it is just it's not a sustainable business model without burning out. So you talked about not necessarily burning out, but you talked about maybe getting into um, maybe getting into some some monotonous uh, repetition in your business. And but one one key thing that you said is that now that I wake up every day and I'm excited. So I, tell me what you're excited about, brother. Man, it's um, you know you're exactly right. I, I've been doing this so long that you know real estate. I think you you said it best in one of your things. You know, uh, running a mile is it's not rocket science, right? But it's hard, right? It's, it's real estate. I always tell people it's not, it's not, it's not something you can't figure, you know, we can, we can, you and I can map it out here in an hour for anyone, right? To really say, hey, here's the step, but most people aren't going to do it. Right. So you, once you get those not things, easy, right? It's simple, it's not, but it's not easy. Right. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's, it's, you know, I always say, you know, I can give you the map to, to make X, right. Of what I know and what I've seen. And I've had some great coaches along the way. And people still won't follow that map, right? They're going to throw it away and figure out their own route. So, you know, as I've been doing this and, and kind of throughout the years, um, you do get to a point of, um, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's the same old thing. We're always integrating. And, you know, like I said, my team is, is my family. So it's, um, you know, I, I have fun with them. But I was, it was to a point of, yeah, am I either going to go independent and figure out or, you know, what are we going to do here? So, the coolest thing about what has happened, you know, since January again is being excited, like I said, to, you know, like yourself, you know, we're able now to do things together that we couldn't do before. You know, I'm closer with Al now than you know, we've always been in the same state, been brothers. I come up and and go to some Cavs games and do stuff with them. But we really didn't um, do a lot business wise together. So to be able to, you know, really now be in business with Kinder, with Brent Gove, with Cliff Freeman, you know, with Curtis Johnson, with, you know, some of these just boss players in real estate is amazing, you know, and to be able to, you know, pick up a phone call or, you know, the phone and be able to call them and say, hey, you know, here's where I'm at, you know, what do we, and, and the support has just been unbelievable. You know, that's what I love about it. You know, if you could go out there and, and get the best coaches in the world for anything you want to do, you're going to do it, right? And that's kind of what this is, um, you know, really allowed um, you know, for, for, you know, what we're doing here. And like I said, you know, with Gadosh, you know, he's in Dayton, not far away, you know, like yourself and we've, you know, um, not really done much together. And now we're able to really put some stuff in place and, and really be able to partner up and, and do some cool stuff. Yeah, it's, it is that I, I, I have to tell you because I don't want that to go overlooked. I think that has been, and I'm not sure that, that 
I, I, I actually expected that when, when I move over, when, when we moved over, but it, that is, that has been one of the coolest kind of byproducts of the move is the fact that, you know, now there's this synergism between all of us, right. That, that we can connect, um, anytime, anywhere, right. In the cloud, um, yep. And, and, and everybody's coming from a place of abundance, right? I mean, there's, there's classes every day in the cloud where, you know, you may have, you know, Curtis Johnson, like 30, a guy that was 30 under 30, like uh, before people turn 30. And, uh, yeah. and, and like, I mean, you, you talk about like Brett, Go, I mean, all these like these huge, like legendary real estate agents and they're like teaching classes and stuff. I mean, you know, Brett Gove does a, uh, an agent attraction class every Monday. It's like, where else could you freaking do that, man? Because it's like, you know, I, I was at Keller Williams and they had, you know, they taught this class called bold and then they had ignite. But the, 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 the downside of that was those classes were only as good as the instructors teaching them. Right. Yep. So yep. what they would do is they would try to get their best instructor in there who, you know, in most cases they didn't sell as much real estate as, as we did, uh, maybe not even close. And so it really didn't add a lot of value. You know what I mean? Not, not to myself or, or my team, but now it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's way different, man. And, and so I didn't, that wasn't one of the reasons why we came, but now it's one of the best reasons I think that we're here, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think you just said, you know, a mouthful that was huge. Um, you know, without, you know, this move in this company, you know, I, I would have probably never came down to your office. We probably wouldn't be doing this. Um, you know, so some of those things that are happening now, but can, you know, going to continue to happen is huge. And like you said, I was at Keller Williams a long time and kind of the same thing. I, I Phenomenal company, great people. But some of that is true. You know, it's at the end of the day, if somebody's teaching a class and, you know, they're teaching about building your business, they sell 30 homes, you know, and not to be arrogant, but I know how to sell 30 homes. You know, I know how to sell 50 homes a year. So to be able to level up and be around, like you said, some of the names, um, you know, Jeff Cooks, you know, we could go on and on with these names of the people that have switched over and, and some of these. And, and, and again, that's the thing where I look at is, um, you know, you can grow and you can do all these things. But are you grown with talent? I mean, the way that we're grown with the talent, with, you know, the, the um, you know, the numbers. Right. You know, I think the way, you know, you look at, you know, teams like yourself, like mine, like, you know, just these phenomenal teams that are making this move. And now we're able to partner up and and really strategize and do a lot of different, um, you know, just business things with them is phenomenal. You know, to be able to, to be able to have these guys on speed dial when I have a question, you know, when there is some you know, sticking point is, you know, you can't pay for that. You know, it's it's amazing. And they um, want they want to hear from you too because it only benefits them. You know what I mean? And that that's the beauty of the system that Glenn's created. It's just been brilliant. It's, it's been brilliant yeah. from that perspective. It's been brilliant from the perspective of recruiting and retention. Man, it's just been it's it like again. Like I mean, you can hear the excitement in my in my voice because I I like you wake up every day excited. I never know what you know what tomorrow is going to hold. But I I, I just I I can't wait to see where this goes. We're roughly fifteen thousand agents now and. And we're just building so much momentum. So for you, man, like obviously a lot of people talk about EXP because they talk about this idea of revenue share. Right. And 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 and, and there's a huge opportunity to build uh, passive income um, that that is sustainable for you know a lifetime. So when we talk about revenue share, like you must have some sort of a goal in mind that you want to hit. What, what does that look like for you, Ryan? Um. You know, Mike, it's a good question. I mean, for me, my main goal right now is, you know, the rev share in the stock, obviously, were, were huge components of me making the move. And and more than anything, what I, you know, really enjoyed is the fact that I could offer that to my agents, that, you know, I can help change, you know, their lives, their families' lives, their kids. You know, I think about, you know, think of this, when we both got in the game, think of this business model was around, you know, where we'd probably be today, Right you know, it's, it's pretty shocking. And, and, you know, it, like I said, I'm excited too, because my thing now is I just want to be, you know, over what the actual numbers are. I just want to be able to share this with as many people as I can. Right. It's Cause I tell people, Hey, you know, you can make the switch. You cannot, you know, I'm not really a recruiting type of guy. I'm more of a relationship type of guy. 
And my thing is really, I'm passionate about what we do. You know, real estate's brought so much to my life and allowed me to do so many things I didn't think coming from a small town I'd be able to do. Um, so I'm very passionate about what we do. And this business model behind that is just a game changer. So I just tell people you got to take a look at it. Just be open minded, take a look at it, punch holes in it. You know, I would love to have those open conversations of, you know, why would you rather go to, you know, this big company or, you know, the, you know, whomever it is, right? I would love to have those open conversations because I truly believe in what this business model is and where we're going to go. Um, so for me, it's really that. And I think the rev share and all that's going to come with just helping and building, you know, doing what you're doing today, right? Just giving back, just adding value. Um, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing I'm at right now. I really, um, love coaching agents, teaching, um, this real estate, you know, like I said, Jay's a great friend of mine, I'm seeing his son, you know, he's starting to teach the game too. And, you know, um, getting excited about what he's doing and stuff like, that. and that's, what's cool is, you know, seeing the kind of life you can have in our industry. Um, and, and if you do it the right way, and, and especially when you do it the right way and with people that, that you really enjoy and love, it's cool. You know, it's, it's been a, it's been, this year has been awesome. And like I said, we're not even, I'm not even 12 months in the, in the company yet. So that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. So, okay, so, um, so as we wrap up here, um, I always ask the same question because you never, ever know who's going to be listening or watching, uh, the show, but to that agent or to that broker out there, who's, uh, either listening or, or watching us, um, who's considering a move to EXP or just wants to learn a little bit more about what we're doing here. What do you, what is, what is that? What do you think like you personally, Ryan, what would you say to that person? You know, for me, it's, it's just have a conversation. You know, I think it, here's my biggest thing. And I, the people that I've reached out to, like I said, I'm, I'm very much on a relationship. It's not, you know, I'm not just email call, you know, it's really, for me, it's relationships. And, you know, Mike, if I care about you and we've done bit, you know, I, I feel like I owe it to you to at least tell you about this model, tell you about this company. Um, Cause if I don't five years down the line, you know, you should be upset at me, right? If I didn't, you know, if you know something right now about, you know, some great company, we need to get stuck, you know, whatever, I hope you reach out and tell me about it. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, where I start with is just relationships, right? And if you care about, you know, first of all, our industry, the people in it, and really the opportunity, I think, you know, it, it's there, you know, let, let's sit down, let's have a, you know, 20, 30 minute conversation, you know, let me send you a video, let's have some dialect and, and really let's just talk about what these opportunities are, because I think that it's such an amazing company, you know, it's, you know, we're talking like, you know, Netflix and, you know, Uber and, you know, some of these things, this is this type of company, you know, that we're a part of, and that's what's exciting. So for me, it's just that energy of, of being able, uh, really wanting to, um, tell everyone about it and, and bring them on board. And then we can all, you know, have fun together, make money together, grow together, share. You know, that's the thing that's cool about this company. Like you mentioned, these guys, when I call Jay out, all these guys, they're, ex you know, they answer the phone excited and they're more than willing to, you know, take as much time as I need to, you know, let's strategize about this, you know, let's figure out, you know, what's our, you know, what, what's our issue, you know, what, what do we need to fix and, and how are we going to do it? And it's, um, it's been fun. It's been exciting. Yeah, man, uh, absolutely. Game changer. It's a game changer, brother. And 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 uh, so so, how do people like if, if people have questions about EXP and and they identify with your unique story? Like, how do people get in contact with you, Ryan? I mean, Facebook's always good. I love Messenger. So you know, it's it's Ryan. The last name is R U E H L E. You know, it's really but spelled a little weird. So um, hit me up on Facebook. Um, you know, like I said, I, I reach out to a lot of agents and different people on, on messenger. So that's a great way to, to reach out, um, grab coffee or, or pick up the phone and have a conversation. Yeah, that's why I tell anyone, um, you know, I'm the same way, you know, be open-minded, right? That's all be open-minded, look at the opportunity. And I tell everyone, you know, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, right? And just take a look at it. You know, I, I'm sure the same thing for you. Once, once somebody introduced it to you, I'm sure you were pretty dang happy today that they did. Right. Yeah. And you know, what? it's, it's not just about like, you know, you mentioned something before too, and I'm not, I'm not really a recruiter either. I'm just passionate about what we're doing. So I just feel yep. obligated to tell people, but you know, ultimately everybody's going to make their own decision, but you owe it to yourself to at least know what's going on. Because if you're coming from a place of ignorance, then you don't have any, there, you, you, you don't, there's no reason why you should pass judgment and you owe it to yourself also to know what your competition's doing. 100%. Yep. I agree with you. 
Awesome, brother. Hey, man, you, you you crushed it, man. I so appreciate it. Listen, I hope we uh, can definitely have a drink in uh, in, in October at EXPCon, and, and definitely I know we'll connect before then, but I so appreciate you taking some time out to, uh, to spend with me today. Cool. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you. Go Bucks. All right. Go Bye, Bucks. Brother. Bye. See you, man. Thanks.